see. <clears throat> All right, where's my game not showing up? And we have a black screen. Nothing. Still the black screen. Ah, there we go. Okay. We're back. For some reason, uh, I was trying to go window windowed mode here, and, uh, yeah, didn't like that for some reason. Anyway. Alright. Super Cooper here for the, uh, original Next Level Gaming channel. And we got a, uh, what I've been anticipating, excited for, for a long time. This is Vampire from uh, Don't Not Studios, the people that brought us Life is Strange. Fantastic game if you haven't played it. I highly recommend it. Um, sort of a departure for them as far as uh, for this game. You know, this is a little different style here. There's, um, if you haven't played Life is Strange, it's sort of a, you know, telltale game, if you will. Story, narrative driven game. Not a whole lot of gameplay at, per se, but uh, there is like sort of a rewind time mechanic. Twelve for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Okay. Very dramatic. Death. What is life but death? Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its Waking up on the wrong side of the bed.
the blood. Brother, oh. Mary. Oh, no, Mary. Hold on, please, hold on. No! Please! A moment! Let me explain! These patrols are after me! No! No! Don't shoot! This is a nightmare! I need to get out of here. This can't be happening. No, please, stop. I mean you no harm. What's going on? Oh, Mary, what have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? Okay, X performs melee attack. Now, I can defend myself. Sneak button? No. Where'd it go? Shit, where'd it go? Who are you? Stay back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. You left me no choice. I seem to have a sprint button. Who are you? Stupid beast! Dodge. Triangle, let's see what the triangle does. Bumper, right bumper. Trigger shots to do anything. No, please, stop! Burn. 
I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? What in God's sake? I'll do the rest of the job. Just, just leave me. Ouch. The sun. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. Fire will deal aggravated damage that reduces your maximum health gauge. Let me go! Oh. I need to find somewhere to hide. Old beast. I need to find shelter. There we go. Is anybody there? seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Alright. So that was apparently the tutorial session. did this to us, I will find them. Sun, new collectible. Yeah. Okay, there's our map. Oops. I don't want to zoom out. Oh, left click. Right bumper. Okay. So, there's the map. Looks pretty good size. Sure, what all this. So, this is set in like, uh, London, I think, right around the turn of the century or so, 1918 or something like that. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly. Collectibles, there we go. Leeches do not fear the sun of fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight, but it hurts them good, really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it. When I tried to the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. 
turn to burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. Know your enemies. So we gotta stay away from fire. Alright. There's our weapons. Level. Power and mesmerize level. What that means. Alright. Pretty. Vampire. What up, Stinger? Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. That's impossible. Oh, vampires couldn't see their reflection. much to accomplish. <sighs> I still have so much left that needs doing. More shillings. I need some help. Ooh, maybe that's some health. lost we need to leave and now no. there's time i can save him that's the enemy coming the orders are to evacuate the hospital <sighs> done he'll live and now what we fight killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing Almost twice. So close. What's up, HTK? All right, bloody diary. Yeah, I'm gonna read this whole thing. That's. So is this my diary?
This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. Vampire. Dude needs a bath. It's a nightmare. That's it. <laughs> no copy for you. Thinking only. Oh, should I do it? It's done. Didn't look like I had a choice. It was it was shooter, nothing else. Yeah, it is a pretty cool looking game. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Fun time. All right, hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. All right, so begin by selecting the available autography, autofigy, autofog, whatever. <laughs> All right. Spend points. Boom. Points spent. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh nerve and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they're more vulnerable than you think. Uh, is the stream only 720p? I think the stream is... Oh, okay, your stream is... Because I think I'm streaming in 1080. Alright, so you have enough XP to unlock an aggressive skill. Choose one to unlock now. So we've got... Three skills looks like here. Oh, downgrade to 720. Okay. Um, okay. So we got claws. Uh, natural predators, vampires have received some gifts from Mother Nature, like claws instead of fingernails. These natural weapons can easily cut through tissue. Very useful for piercing a prey's arteries. If you use your claws, you will see humans differently, like soft and tender meat. Okay, so what else? We got Blood Spear. Oh, I saw some footage of this one. Looks pretty cool. Vampire wields their blood and throws it like a spear. Yeah, that looks sweet. This power can take time to charge, but it's deadly effective at medium to long range. It's a powerful supernatural tool for vampires who don't like close combat. Hmm. I don't want to do that one. Blood Spear. Okay, confirm. Oh wait, we better check the third one. Shadow Mist. Uh, the vampire concentrates shadows around their prey to make them explode. After a countdown, this explosion will injure anything in range with needle-like living spears. Vampires often use this ability to wipe out groups of enemies from a distance. Um, that looks pretty cool too, but... Yeah, let's get that one next, because we don't have enough for another one. I think that was it. Bite. 
Nice. Body. Physical prowess. Blood capacity. Nice. Big thirst. Yeah, so I don't think we had enough. Oh, wait, this one's... No, these are 300. We only have 135 XP. Okay. Confirmed. Belong to the one who research. Made me. Identify and confront the vampire who cre created me. In London now, somewhere near the eastern end, east end docks, I suppose. I don't know this part of town. Someone is killing people here, murdering them, butchering them, drinking their blood, making them like him. Poor Mary, my poor sister must follow the blood trail. Find answers. Alright, let's follow the blood what I am. trail. I must find him to understand what I have become. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Oh, like they're coming for me. I need to leave now. Steak. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing Y. It attacks with special effects and consumes stamina. Okay. Anything else in here? I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Over there! Go it's back home. Press A to bite a stun. to at least my first. Ah, oh, there's, there's my spear. Nice. Did I miss anything over here? No. Nope. It's locked. Wanted to suck your blood. I'll kill you.
shillings. Aluminum shard. That means there's like crafting or something. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to do a passive playthrough of this game. So, I guess you just have to run from those enemies or something? I don't know. It seems kind of combat focused. Join the ranks. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I can't <laughs> believe I'm doing this. Just suck the blood of a rat. Okay, it's locked. What's this? So I can suck rat's blood. This <laughs> oh, is yeah. this <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's locked, locked. all right. Okay, so that's the like a mechanic I can't jump. do on my own to I as far as teleporting. It. It's only like areas where it gives me that little icon, so it's interesting. Shillings. Man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. Ooh, blood trail. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. So left trigger. Ooh, there we go. Fresh blood. And the smell is so strong. Something dire must have come about. Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Oh, that's the... I was like, what is that? You can see the blood. Rat. Excuse me. The new hideout is available in this dis district. So there's my new 
hideout. Got a stash, I guess. There's a crafting bench. Medical treatments, serums, weapon upgrades. So, uh, I guess I don't have any of that stuff. Alright. So we'll come later. What's this? Some crafting parts. So when I see a person, I can... At last, a little life. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. Welcome, sir, to the turquoise turf. It's a good thing we have to tell me now. So she's cleaning up the blood? I think I'm losing my mind. I should just run as far away from this place as I can. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. What is this place? This is Tom's Bar, a turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic. Now all these terrible murders. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? The sewer dog. What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. I'll leave then. Thank you. Damn it. I think drink no longer stirs me. That's stuck to the bartender. Oh, God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> no, thank you. <clears throat> I'm not... not thirsty. Oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Mm, let's see. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. 
A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh, yes, no funny business. No funny me? business. This is a respectable establishment. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Damn it. I Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. <laughs> What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The sewer dog. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. All right, let's go check upstairs here. Actually, let's see if there's any. I hope I don't have to see the boys get what's coming to them. Patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require them. I think someone is eavesdropping. Eavesdropping? <laughs> you might as well. Come I've been in. dropping no eaves. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Anyone. Oh. That's something I can do for you. Got an interesting motel room. Got somebody's office. And who might you be? what you want then I may tell you that's none of your concern sir you have entered my room in the middle of the night pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree so please indulge me something someone is molesting people in fact killing them biting them the calling card of a vampire like you This is very real. You are a vampire. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. 
If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. Yeah, he is that mine. looks good. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I gotta end him. Demand the answers. I don't know. I. I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Alright. Track the killer. Interrogate the locals. Six thousand XP. Blood quality. Hmm. I don't want to drink his blood yet, though. I may need him later. It's a lot of XP, though. Okay, so I see. That's you can drain some of these blood. Gives you a certain level of XP. So that guy is like tired. So he only gives me three fifty. She's only fifteen hundred. Bar keeps 2,500, but this guy is 6,000. Okay. Stole some shillings from you, buddy. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Let's go back to this guy here. Hello, sir. May I disturb you? Steal his money. You're still ugly as sin. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl. See. This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I don't think this guy knows I'll anything. leave you to your bottle then. Leave him to the bottle. So, I guess there's other stupid or something. Maybe. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? So am I still? So Damn it! I can drink no longer stirs with him. I guess I'm still supposed to talk to these people. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. No. All right, let me try the lady again, I guess. I think I'm losing my mind. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? 
If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it was Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Mm. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. All right, new hint available. Here we go. I just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. So, as a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlocked hints increase the amount of XP. So, you're basically fat fattening them up. <laughs> Uh, hint unlocked. Tom and Will Bishop used to be un so. There's see, there's a couple hints in this guy, I guess. Plus. All right. Well, let's go back and talk to Tom. It's gotta be something. You again? What can I do for you? Okay, as vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. Great voice he acting. He's strong. You now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. What's this? Some sort of note. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Is there anything over here? Must be vampire hunters. Right 
Ranged weapon. And press Y to use your ranged weapon. Standard and stomach damage. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Press L to spot enemies around and display their enemy cards. Some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. Four types of resistances. Physical, powers, orange indicates a medium, and red indicates a high resistance. So he's resistant, so... Basically, it looks like you got to use blood or shadow with that guy. There's, there's another guy out here, wouldn't it? This Combat's not bad. It takes a little getting used to. Your stamina goes down quick, so I mean obviously I'm only level three still, so build up the stamina would be good. Alright, where's the blood go? All the blood trail. I wish you could like sneak though. There's a sneak button. That's this nest of them cleaned out. So he's resistant resistant to melee, he's re resistant to melee. Stay for a gentleman. Steady boys! New collectible. Oh yeah. Okay, there's the blood. Let's see if there's anything up here. Over there! So I 
guess you can. So, rest to evolve. So, does that mean I need to go back to my whatchamacallit place? Oh, that's one of the resistance dudes, so he's resistant to... He looks like a melee guy there. There's a new hideout. Shillings. All right, let's evolve here. So, what do we want? I want to body condition, increase your health, physical prowess, and increase your endurance. I have to do both of those. Yeah, I think I have enough. Blood capacity, every thirst. And yeah, I think I'll go with one of my health first. Physical prowess, yeah, increase your stamina. So did I already do that one? Level six required. Okay. So I think that was all. Yeah, we need three hundred. Hey, what's up, now, later? All right. Let's get back on the blood trail. I can't. Like, Suck some blood. Ah. All right, blood. Yes. <laughs> All right, back on the blood trail. Follow the blood trail from the pure fear. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Unknown blood quality. That must be the guy we're looking for. Used to safe. Be more vampires. This place reeks of bloodshed. Dearest friend, you're my last and dearest friend. 
This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't let me down Annihilator. give us a good show and uh, you know I'm, I'm excited for the whole thing i think uh you know e3 in general i'm excited for i'm always love to you know get teased see the new games coming out too many xbox fans <laughs> i'm a video game fan i love Mr. Hampton, all video games, are you I own in all three consoles, got a PC, or soul, not a three, I don't have sir. a Switch. Listen to the sound of my but voice. I got a PC, I'm I am, on a PC right now. I'm a doctor, you're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock, they'll stray without me. <sighs> Commodore 64, bruh! Remember, some skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. <laughs> Who are you? What That's what I'm gaming on right now, HTK. You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. <laughs> Wait. You, you are the woman. Juan is a real gamer. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe so. I already have. <laughs> this is more like Corsair 64 on my PC. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows. I'm a fanboy. I'm a video help. game fanboy. Just give me a moment. To I don't care what they're on. Should I, I play that stuff on my phone, man? <laughs> William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the horse. He needed this drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, my flock Go with needs a good me. Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Is that all I needed? Must have been. Oh, maybe some more shillings. Spencer in a green bikini. Sexy. <laughs> All right, let's get on the boat. Achievement unlocked. At dawn we row. <laughs> Who does? 
<laughs> That's right. I got that poster in every room. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Who is she? London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I you are correct, it. sir. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan. Brilliant. This is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. The Vampire Doctor. So I wonder if... If the passive playthrough is like... You know, what they say passive playthrough only um, is in regards to, like, normal victims, not... The combat kind of, you know, like the boss battle we just had, the uh, vampire guy. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. And 
and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Blood transfusions. It's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. All right. Here we go. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. Yeah, it's probably a good thing I didn't, uh, unknown blood quality. Okay. Alright, how do we get into the hospital here? Come on, you bastard! You can do better than that! Nah! It's my turn! Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. Alright, alright, sorry. I am in pain. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Hmm, so here it comes. Do I drink his blood? Or do I let him live? I couldn't, I, I couldn't quite tell what the guy was doing there on the dock. Did he just kill, he just like killed somebody and kicked him into the river. So he's not a good guy. But I don't know if he was getting mugged or... Hmm, the dilemma. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. So it looks like we're equal. Okay, so that's what that little thing there means. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. So here comes the dilemma. Do we embrace or release? Hmm. Oh man, it, even the sound is intense. I don't know what to do here. Oh man, what do you guys think? What do we do? Do we drink the blood? Do we release whoever this guy is? Yay or nay? Killer, killer, be free.
Just take a bite. Take a back, you bastard. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. So, wait, I... I could hear him, like, talking in my head, or... Interesting. There it is. We drew first blood. Kill. <laughs> Done. To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate All right, now we're... Such a burden. Such a divine scene. He's dead. He gone. Gotta get that XP. No, unless give us all these cool abilities without sucking blood. Is this the hospital? It's like the overflow area or something. here uh, they're probably the Spanish flu victims or something all right so that's another nurse here doctor where have you been I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. Oh. I apologize, nurse. You've given us the business. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Man, I already got my name on the Nurse door. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome been to Pembroke Hospital. Been in the Dr. building. Reed. I already got my your name on the door. Your office has been prepared. Wow. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Alright. Thank you, Nurse Clay. That's what the room was. What was this over here? The hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital full. Go back home. Damn, that's harsh. Okay, rest to evolve. Glass of vial. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. 
eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. New hint. I'll go even further. <clears throat> if she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. All right. Don't want this guy to go... Uh... Uh... Life in London. Nowhere to get that. Personal questions. Pain required. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Alright. Let's go. Need to rest up so we can get our thing. Level up. Who's this guy? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction. Yeah, I haven't even been in the building. You I already heard about Milton. me. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Nice. A little traitor. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. I'd like to see your goods. Wise see what he's choice, got. Let's see what he's got. A reliable gun is what everybody needs. What you got, my space. friend? Let's see. What are these? Three. F oh, I only have 107. Common handle parts. So it looks like I can craft weapons. That's cool. Aluminum powder, aluminum shard, grease. Okay, so he's got craftable stuff. See, I, don't even, I haven't got any of that, so we'll pass on that for now. Make sure there's no more shillings or anything out here. Um, I like it. I, I, you know, I, so far, the combat's pretty cool. I mean, i just gotten into it, you know, just starting this. Um, the voice acting, the, the game design's really cool. Some of the movement's a little clunky, it's a little slow, he's got kind of a delay when he moves, it's kind of weird, but uh, no, I think they've done a good job, this is, this is a cool game.
that poster, man, but you're right there. Oh, well. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Perfect. So yeah, not later. I don't know if you've ever played, uh... Let's see, it's on the second floor. Life is Strange, but this is the same people don't nod um, that did Life is Strange, which I love that game. Before the Storm, I actually, to be honest, I haven't even finished that one. That one didn't quite do it for me as much. It wasn't quite as engaging so far. The first one I couldn't, I mean, I pretty much finished that in like two sittings. T. Elwood's medical file. Used a hacksaw. here it's already got her name on the door look at that dr. Reed boom that was quick man how'd they get that man they just had that like laying around oh yeah we've got a nameplate right here this must be the place it's definitely away from prying eyes relegated to the shadows our a kingdom of my own at least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Nice. Dragon Bane. Barker. Oh, cutscene. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold. Oh, missed it. Alright. Let's see what else is in here. Dear Jonathan, I asked Miss Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration. <clears throat> but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and for the staff to never enter your room. You'll be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You will also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter and exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must know which you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you are not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. Those dark times we are all presently... F These dark times we are all ple presently facing. I hope your fu our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke. My esteemed colleague, we shall talk soon. Your sincere Edgar Griffith Swansea. Yes, I left you. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about e econ in the last few years. Feel free to read about it. We need some guidance as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's right. I'm gonna fatten you up for the slaughter, Doc. All right. I'm not gonna read all this stuff here. So this is our abilities, supernatural speed, mesmerize, blood awareness, uh, it just talks about what we can do, we already know, anything else over here, okay, so that's where we check out that blood sample, I just wanted to look, there's our Dash. Uh, what was in here? Some shillings. All right, let's go ahead and level up here. All right. So now we can do one of these other. Increase the damage inflicted when you're using the bite in, in combat. Blood capacity. Increase your blood capacity. Uh, 
kind of want to... See, I suppose we could do the claw. The spear is nice, but it takes a long time for it to kind of regenerate. Um, how much does it... So it consumes 25, recovery 3. So yeah, see, that takes a while too. So I think we'll just stick with that one. Coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until you block your target's blood, not making them defensive. So that just kind of like knocks them out. I think I want to keep working on my health. Let's go for the health first. We'll get this one up there too. So that we have to wait till level six. All right. Blood capacity. Or bark bite. Tactical. What is this? Shadow veil. Drain, toggle, drain your stamina to fade into the shadow and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain your stamina. You'll exit the shadows if you attack dodge. Okay, so there's like a sneak one. Actually, might not be too bad. Ultimate. Yeah, see, I like these two. How much does that cost? So that's 500, so I could do one of these. So either spring. It's easy to catch up to your prey in spring. I'm just absorbing that when I start. Or the shadow veil. Five hundred as well. Or I can do one of these. Re increase your life regeneration when using bite and combat. Blood. So I need the blood to use this other stuff. So blood's probably science. So I can upgrade that one now too. Now I carry three serums in your bag. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Decisions, decisions. I don't know what the serums do. Does that help heal me? Maybe I should do that one. I do the first one. Okay. Sorry, moving on. The following night. Clay Cox embraced. Sorry, buddy.
Okay, so you have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Press right trigger. So, let's see, what can I... I haven't even used these things yet. So it's a son of shotgun. Select a melee weapon. Offhand, use steak. So I keep forgetting, man. I don't know if I've even used these. Dragon Bane. on that 10 20 stamina attack speed 15 well I think we'll upgrade this one okay you can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the required ingredients it will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots okay one no we need handle part to like five more handle part lead plate we need one more lead plate oh, okay so we can do this increase your damage dealt by 10 percent or increased blood absorption hmm damage blood good to have a mix and I'm gonna go with damage that's better achievement unlocked all right cool so we just upgraded that one recycle So we don't have enough to craft any of this stuff. Sturdy. Oh, okay, so you can regenerate 300 health. But we don't have anything for that. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. I just did sleep. Oh, I guess I was premature. Oh, you can reset your skills too. That's kind of cool. You get a do-over. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. 
However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. Morgue. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Alright, let's go find the morgue. First, let me make sure I find any collectibles or something in here. Locked. All right, let's go find it. Let's go find our goodies here. Small bottle. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Rogue Scowl. Thanks, Mike. Catch you later. Safe trip home, man. Photography of a smiling. What was that little head popping up there? Ah! 
sorry, maybe that's the room outside my or the escape outside my window there that he was telling me about on that note. I don't know what that head means. Oh, maybe that's my office. I think that's my office. All right, sorry about that. All right, where were we? Let's see here. Oh, okay, here's where we equip. Okay, so. All right, there we go. So you stick, so that's only. Oh, okay, so now I can. Uh... Okay, so now I can put a pistol in there. 45, 160, 54. Don't know how much ammo I have. Stun 15. Now let's put that in there. 15 of 18. 2 of 4. Yeah, let's do this one. Secondary weapon, I guess. 72. Clay's hatchet. Ooh. That's that dude I sucked his blood. Oh, 99 damage. That's pretty good on that one. 72. Stamina 30. Stamina. Twenty-five. Yeah, 
let's stick with the place hatchet in the second slot. So, okay, serums. I don't have any serums yet. Abilities. So, a target. That's my healing ability. Yeah, okay, that's so... Okay, so I can remap those to the triggers instead of the shoulder buttons. So you can have four special abilities. Shows my life, my stamina. Bring back the wallet to its owner? Okay. Hide out. There's me. Player position. Why is this area in red? Okay. Find useful metal, medic, medicinal ingredients in the old morgue. Glass vial. Sound design stuff is really good in this. Scoop? No, nope. let me take it. I thought it was flashing there for a second. More shillings. I cannot oh. enter. Looks like that just exit out of the building. You hear the skulls screeching. Very creepy. So I gotta find a key or something for this. Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. The sickness moves faster than influenza. Alright, so there I got something. Shillings. It's locked. Go in that one. Bottle of alcohol. This key will surely there grant me access to the basement. There's our underground key. as they are ineffective but they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful oh, scared me for a second there some shotgun shells Okay. 
guess. See. So you can't really aim the gun? I don't know how that works. It's kind of weird. Rich blood sample. All right, let's go see what's in the basement. You know it's gonna be creepy down there. Oh, what was that? Oh, uh, was something there. Rogue Skull. Rogue Skull. A couple of Rogue Skulls down here. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after that. shot. What? That's weird. Door just closed after I went out there. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Oh, I was trying to get that. There we go. Used Liston knife. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it to directly absorb blood. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's check that out. So my offhand... Let's go that one there. Nice. Are you going this room? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Oh, to drink blood. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Enough components to craft a medicine treatment of treatment for fatigue. Um, I don't know though. Should I? I don't know if I need to. I'm gonna wait and. I'm gonna wait and see what I needed for that quest. So I was supposed to get some material for that quest. So I must. For that one, just make sure I got everything. So, that one trunk up there was locked. Don't know if we're supposed to get like a lock pick or if there's a key I need to find around here. The dude didn't drop anything. Doesn't appear to be anything else down here. Upstairs. Can I get everything down here? In the basement. So I'm gonna find a key to that trunk. That's where the trunk is. Oh wait, who is that? New citizen investigation is available. Press to lo open the local investigations. Okay, citizen investigations are displayed here, categori categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X and access your map to locate the area to explore. Milton Hooks. No investigations. Gwyneth. Midnight in the garden. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. Citizen quest. Find out the cause of death. Oh, okay. So that bring back the wallet to its owner. Hooks. Oh, okay. So that's what. So this must be like little. Must be how they do like a side quest or something. These are like side investigations. So this one, Office of Pembroke Hospital, Medical Examiner, Report of Investigation, Decedent, Samuel Connor, Caucasoid, Male 39, Unknown Fisherman Natural, Probable Cause of Death, Fast Progressing Pneumonia by Virus Induced Pulmonary Consolidation, Spanish Influenza. 
so Dr. Tippett's and Brannigan, Nurse Brannigan, Dr. Tippett's. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Still can't unlock it's locked, that. all right. Still can't unlock that one. Glass vial. We've already been in here. Yeah, that's that where we fought that boss guy. All right. Let's. Back upstairs then. All this. Wait, did I do? Yeah, it's just that same room again. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. All right, I think it's time to go back upstairs. That just. Down here. All right. A couple more skulls. jump on me like that before. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Oh, okay, so I am supposed to craft. So that's what that crafting table thing was. So I was supposed to craft it. Okay. So I guess I gotta go back down to that crafting table. Where was it? It was back down here. Alright, so I screwed up. I'm gonna go craft the. Treatment for fatigue. There we go. So I need sodium hypochlorite solution.
So this takes us back into the hospital. to Dorothy Crane. Was I supposed to... Don't cough in public. Come on, people. she is. Nope. Where's Dorothy Crane? Dorothy Crane. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. <sighs> All right. Disease decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? It's Harry Potter! Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Liar! It's Harry Potter! Diseases. Press RB to check the medical status of the citizen. Healing a citizen will increase his blood quality and will reward you with XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Do you need any help? Thank you, Dr. Reed, but you've done enough already. The rest is up to me now. Excuse me. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. 
Goodbye, Mrs. Gosway. All right. So we've done our duty. Is this Dr. Sons? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working nope. together. Dr. Reed. It's another Dr. Aaron Swansea Porter. informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. This is Dr. Harry Thank Porter. Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you <laughs> if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. I oh, know, it looks more like a Weasley. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. With your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. New investigation. Missing ingredients. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. Uh, that's the one I just did. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Okay. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm done Goodbye, with Dr. Strickland. Alright, I'm done with Mr. with Dr. Harry Potter. Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your mem mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. Mesmire's level unknown, level unknown, whose blood can I suck? Spill the fall. Sorry, folks. Alright, what was I supposed to do? Oh, talk to Dr. Swansea. Upstairs. Where's that wallet? I'm supposed to bring back the wallet. That person like disappeared, maybe. Oh well. Let's go talk to Dr. Swansea. Locked. 
Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought oh, to light with our me. microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I'm a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Hmm. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. A rat in the hospital. Talk to the hospital benefactor. Rakesh Shadana. Warning letter. <clears throat> Must inform you of my deepest reservations concerning the Dr. Thoreau Strickland and Harvey Fittick case. Mr. Fittick has been hospitalized as after a severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. Dr. Strickland claims a surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also sev severe its sever its functions and for good if complications arise. My oncology is an audacious and daring surgeon who might prove a great professional in a few years, but for now he lacks the skills to perform such a risky procedure. Need I remind you the mistakes he made in the past. Dr. Strickland refuses to listen to me. Strongly advise you forbid him to perform such a hazardous experiment. Alright. New hint available. Some else I there I missed. Yeah, beautiful game. Great detail. New collectible, rare species of. Anything else? 
cows for me to pilfer. Okay, I think that's my office. Yep. Get everything out of here. Nada. Looks like we got everything out of here. That was where we just came from. Gotta go up these stairs. Nada. Can't go through that wing yet. All right, so we need to find what was this guy that was yeah that one Milton Hooks is that who he needed to So used to uh, pressing the joystick to get the. Uh, I don't know where. Milton Hooks. Is that who I was supposed to talk to? Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. It was what? Milton, okay. The epidemic's over. I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and certain effort. Well, yeah, Pippa Walton is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. She's the oldest patient here. Mm hmm. Harriet Jones. Uh, I see. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Can buy some ammo from them, maybe. Okay. What did it, what was it I needed? Common handle part. I can't remember what I needed to upgrade my. Tiny, tiny common handle part. Oh, I have to remember. Nice. All right, now let's go find. This delicate. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. 
Mm -hmm. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Mm. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Aha. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? You are aware that I too know the thirst for the scarlet nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. 
Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harry picked Jones. Picked a fight? Harry Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I guess. Better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts slit a poor sod's vein. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. Oh, sick of scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Okay. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Haha, <laughs> so that's who I killed. He was the leader of the gang, Clay Cox. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know? The sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. 
Not even criminals. Interesting. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Alright. Alright, how do I save the game here? escape route all right well I think I'm gonna end the stream there no. hopefully this is how I save it here forgot to even look at how uh Saving it. Yeah, it must be. Okay, every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or deg degrade your health. It may also degrade due to disease, pretty much. everybody so yeah that's been the first what is that about three hours of uh a vampire from don't nod it's uh yeah game just came out this week just dropped uh, a couple days ago um my first impressions are really good i i love the the aesthetic to it um the controls are really good the um uh you know the the gameplay's fun it's very narrative driven obviously you know it's a to be expected with a don't nod game, uh, but so far the narrative's really good. 
uh, voice acting, the production quality is just fantastic. The the sound, the audio, um, the sound design, the music, uh, the voice acting. Um, every yeah, really, really cool game. So definitely look forward to jumping back in. Um, anyway, this is uh, Super Cooper for the original Next Level Gaming. I appreciate you joining us and. Have a great day.